Hey YouTube. So uh, my last video was a uh, putting a 36 element spray on a Turbo 350 in uh, the direct drum. So I got another one of those sprags and then I machined a drum because that's basically what they did. And I'll, I'll show you what I did for my setup and it, it fits perfectly fine. So here's uh, my result. Turned out pretty good. Nice and smooth. Um, <clears throat> theirs was a little tight, so I actually went like a couple thousands more. But fits perfectly, stops perfectly. Uh, everything fits good. So start off by showing you the package. So here's the, the package. It was like a, a hundred bucks from the, the place I bought it at. It, it was a... Uh, um, advertised as a 36 element spray for a Turbo 350. So I looked it up on the internet and it's a spray for a, a 4T80E. And you can find them for like 40 bucks. So for 40 bucks and it's a machining time. You could have a 36 element spray on your Turbo 350. Uh, I'll send you like one of the links that I found for it for sale. Um, as far as my setup that I I did it with, uh, I'll show you how I had it chucked up in the the lathe. So I have a a small indexing head and. I had it on the inside of here, clamped up, um, which is the main reason is because uh, if you use a three jaw chuck on your, your lathe, these are spaced out, these little knobs here that go into the, the forward to the point where you can't get them so it, it falls in between them. You probably could on a four jaw. I didn't even try the four jaw chuck, but this is what I did. I, I did this, and then I clamped this with the the three jaw, and then the, the three jaw. I have the the jaws that way. So I, I think I held it from the the middle one. So that's how I I held it. And then I used a, a CBN cutter. Um, it's for hardened material. Seeing that race is all hardened. Uh, I got that on Amazon. I had it for a while, so it was nice using it. And then to, to cut the groove out for the, the race to sit down. So that's the reason why you, you cut this... Uh, grooving an eighth inch it is because the race actually sits down farther there because it's wider and then the outer or the spray sits in there and the outer race still rides on the same spot so you, you want that's why you don't you don't have to be perfect on uh how far out you go you just got to make sure you're farther enough out for that spray to sit down and then uh Let's see, what did I run for speeds? So, on my lathe, I was running it at like 540 RPMs. And... Geez. And then it looks like about a half inch uh, per minute. It's or per per inch, however that is. Point five, three two, as my feed rate. Um, 
so basically when you, you cut with that CBN cutter, even though it's, you know, like a carbide insert, you, you want to run at a slower speed, um, slow RPM on spinning, and then slower uh, feed rate. And then I was taking 20 thousandths cut at a time, and it cut really nice. Um, I do have this, this larger... Uh, um, piece for my tailstock to kind of steady it up just fit perfectly in the drum and uh for for support to kind of um get rid of the harmonics on it because it was kind of leaving some like waviness to it and uh if you have a, a bigger lay that you're probably gonna have no problem uh and then yeah just Took a nice clean pass. Even if it had those grooves in there from vibrating, I, I think you'd be fine. But uh Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It took a little while, take your time, but it saves you five hundred bucks or you know, this one was just about four hundred bucks. You know, for forty bucks in some time. Um I think that C B N cutter was uh 40 50 bucks I'll, I'll send a link in my description um and then as far as like this cutter to cut the groove uh you, you could pretty much use anything this is cast so i mean you could do it with uh, a high speed steel uh insert or something um just something small and pointy so you can get in there and kind of just shove it in just take small bits at a time and keep measuring. Uh, I came out uh, from the inside of this race to the edge right around 0.47. It's, you know, eighth inch deep, 0.125. And then this OD uh, of this race, you turn it down to uh, um, 3.5. And it basically... The, the one I got, it kept the, the grooves on from the ski jumps. And you get to the point where you just, just about get them all off. I mean, there might be a, a couple where you can kind of see it. It's like right there, right there. But basically, you get those so it's cleaned up and it's it's the size you need. And then I'll send a uh, put a link in uh, the description for the... The, the spray I found that's a lot cheaper than what I paid. But, I mean, I still saved the money, I guess. And then when you put it together, the spray comes with uh, the outer, these things. You don't use these. So you discard those. You just use the spray itself. So. All right. There you go. How to... Put a cheap 36 element spray on your uh, Turbo 350. All right, thanks guys. Like and subscribe.